what's up? We're on the floor, you know what that means. It's decluttering time. <laughs> I can only mean one thing. I hope that you've got some coffee, some tea. I myself am drinking some cinnamon tea. It is a very gray, very cold, wintry day where I live right now. And so this felt like the perfect thing to do today, was just chill with you guys, drink something warm, and kind of go through some makeup and chat about them. So we're gonna talk through my primers today, share with you what I have in my collection, stuff that maybe I need to get rid of that I'll get rid of today, some things that maybe have gone bad. Primer is one of those things for me that if I only have a few minutes to get ready, I'm going to skip it. Because while I do feel like there are some primers that actually genuinely make a difference, whether it's in the way my skin looks or in the way my makeup will wear, but I don't always have the time to do it. And so that's why it's just easy for me to skip. So I definitely know there are some that are going to go bye-bye and then some that I definitely need to use up, especially if it's one that is like an SPF. And I have a new SPF. Actually, it's not even new to me anymore, uh, but I had put it away because I was trying to use up other ones I knew were gonna go bad. And I finally used that up and now I've gone back to this other one and I remember why I love it so much. So we'll talk about that too. So cheers, let's dive in. So this is where I house all of my makeup in these top three drawers. This piece of furniture I bought from Wayfair a while ago and it was an investment piece I saved up for. So it's pretty pricey. If it's still being sold, I know I get a lot of questions. I'll link it below um, and I can link that lamp. It's hard to see in this lighting, but it's actually pink. It's so pretty. Anyway, so, oh, and <laughs> I didn't even realize this I actually just bought from a small shop on Etsy and I've got some fake eucalyptus things coming in as well. And I think that'll look so pretty somewhere up here. We'll see. I might need to move some things, but none of that has anything to do with this. So my primers are here. If you miss my concealer declutter, we decluttered these and I have so much less than I had. And these are truly just my favorites. I can link that video below because that's the one I most recently did. If you miss my foundation declutter, I can link that video below as well. That was a few months ago. So this is what we're working with with primers. I obviously have more than I would ever need. <laughs> and some of these I don't even like. So, and some of them, my gosh, are so old. So we're going to pull this bad boy out and go through them. And I also grabbed a few that I had in my bathroom, which is where I like actually get ready for the day. Uh, like at my van, well, it's not even at my vanity. I do <laughs> the bathroom sink. All right. So here we've got it all. This container is from the brand, the cosmetic archive. So one of you guys, I haven't checked, but one of you guys said you weren't sure if they were still in business or anymore. It, they're really nice, like thick plastic organizers. And they were designed to fit in the Alex drawers, like those white ones you always see. I have some in another part of the room. They're made to fit those drawers perfectly, but I use them in other drawers obviously too. So I think they're still being sold. If they are, I can link the website. I don't have a promo code or any connection to it. I just really like them. And they sent me some of these years ago. Okay. So, um, some of these primers I have not used in a, in a, an embarrassing amount of time. And some of this is just skincare. So let's spread these bad boys out. Wow, I just counted, including these little minis, 42 different primers. Now, some of these, as I was laying these out, I'm like, oh, that's actually skincare that doesn't really belong in this drawer, but I figure whatever, let's go through it anyway, because it ended up there probably for a reason, and a lot of them I haven't touched. So, I don't even know where to begin. So let, why don't we start with, with SPF? So one of my favorites, the one I was referencing earlier that I just recently started using again, is the Super Goop Glow Screen. This is a pricey <laughs> SPF, but it adds this glowy look to the skin that is honestly unmatched. So there's this one I actually used up. It would have been in here, but I just used it up last week from the brand Can Make that you can get on Amazon for like 10 bucks. So it's much cheaper. That is very similar, but the glow is different. This one is just unmatched in the glowy <laughs> SPF world because it looks amazing on its own. It's a little much, but with makeup over it, it is the most gorgeous. It's the best mixture of a glowy primer with an actual real SPF of 40 that I don't feel like I have to layer primers and SPF. And that is my biggest thing. I feel like when I have to use an SPF and a primer together, 
it's so many steps. And you know, I feel like I've got to put the SPF on, then the primer, but then I'm like, well, I don't want the primer to disrupt the SPF. So I love that this literally has it all in one and I don't even have to think about it. So even though it's expensive, it's worth the price to me and I am really enjoying using this again. So obvious, definite keep. It's going right back in my bathroom where it was this morning when I used it. <laughs> all right, this is one I've actually had for a little bit too long. It already expired last year. It was sent to me a long time ago from the brand Coats the healthier sunscreen face. I used it once or twice and I liked it just fine, but like I said, it's just a little old. This is one I actually was surprised by how much I like. I feel like there's kind of mixed feelings on this on the internet. This is Murad's Essential C SPF 30. This, when I first put it on the first few times, I was like, I don't really like it. Like it's a little bit greasy, but you know what? When I was using this every single day, my skin looked really, really good. It was really good SPF protection, but it really moisturized my skin. So I didn't feel like I had to use this and the moisturizer. I could just use this. So I'm definitely gonna keep, I use one of these completely up and this is another one. So these are two of my absolute favorite SPFs for the face. This is an SPF from Beauty Blender. It was their Selfie Shield SPF 38 Dry Oil Primer. This is one of the weirdest products. So it's literally like a very liquid oil and you put it all over your face and it's supposed to be SPF protection. I just don't like this format. I've tried to use it a couple times and every time I do, you know, the oil will sink in so it doesn't look as greasy on your face as you'd think it would. It really doesn't. But I just don't like the way it feels on my skin and there's something about how thin it is that I don't trust it enough to be like in the sun with this as my only SPF on my face. It just makes me too nervous. So. I think it's interesting and that's honestly why I bought it, but I think I'm going to get rid of it. So this was one of my least favorite SPFs. So Paula's Choice makes a few different SPFs and there's another one in the same packaging, the same light blue packaging that's unopened. I don't even have in here. It's in my closet because I want to use everything else up first, but it is from their resist line and it's their super light daily wrinkle defense. It is the most beautiful tinted facial SPF. One of my top favorites. I've gone through like four bottles of that. This is from that same line, but it's a different one. It's SPF of 50. And this one just feels like I'm putting a body sunscreen all over my face. It's just the classic white. It doesn't, I don't know. It just didn't do much for me. It was not a favorite. And so I am going to finally get rid of this. And it really, really smells like sunscreen. So this next one I'm struggling with. It's from Tatcha. It was very expensive. It's their Silken Pore Perfecting Sunscreen. I think that there's something about the pore perfecting quality to this where I love the idea because it'd be like a primer and sunscreen in one again. However, it pilled up so terribly under makeup. So I'd have to really let this sit on my skin for like an hour before I could ever consider putting makeup on. And I don't always have that luxury of time, you know? And so super bummed. And I was just looking at the expiration date. It expires next month. So I'm going to get rid of it. I might try to get like I don't know, the next month's worth of, worth of use out of it, maybe on days I'm not wearing makeup. So at least I didn't totally waste my money, but I, I would not recommend for sure. So this is another technically SPF. It's from Laura Mercier. It's their Pure Canvas Primer, and they have a whole line of these. This is their protecting one. So it's SPF 30. I didn't have a problem with this at all. I've only used it a few times. It's still newer to me. And it felt similar to the texture of the Murad, which I liked. And it doesn't expire until June of 2022. So I've got almost a year and a half where I can use this. So I feel comfortable keeping these two and using these and then maybe using this one next. Okay. Some of these are just old. This D bronzy anti-pollution sunshine, sunshine serum from Drunk Elephant, you can mix with stuff. You can put as like a bronzy base. I just never got on with it. Like I I would use it from time to time and it'd be okay, but it was never anything that I felt like I had to have. I felt like I was forcing myself to use it and it's pretty old. I'm trying to see if there's an actual date on there that it goes bad, but it's pretty old. So I think I'm going to get rid of this. This is another one I've had for a while. I already have a brand new one of. I wonder, is there like a date on this? Yeah, it says 12 months. I've probably had this for two years. This is a beautiful, oil primer. So if you have super dry skin or even normal skin, it's got this little glowy quality to it. It's the Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Oil. It's really, really beautiful. It really is. It's got some good skincare in it. So you're treating your skin. It definitely has a noticeable, I don't want to say floral, but there's definitely a scent to it. I think actually 
Now that I'm smelling it, it smells a little off. So I, this one is definitely old. I do have another one. I will eventually open. I'm gonna wait a little bit. But I highly recommend if you want a drugstore version of this kind of product that kind of adds a thin layer of glow to your skin without being super thick like some of these other ones. Another one I would recommend is from the drugstore. I actually mentioned this in my dupes video I did recently, shameless plug, I can link below and above if you wanna watch that next. But one of the drugstore dupes I found recently is from Revlon. It's their Photo Ready Rose Glow Hydrating and Illuminating Primer. It looks so similar to that. The only gripe is at least the one I got, the stopper or like the little sucker upper, sucks. Like it doesn't actually work at all. So I'd much rather it be like in a squeezy tube or in a pump. Revlon, if you are listening, this packaging sucks. Keep the product, but put it in like a squeezy tube, maybe even similar to the Wander Beauty one because this product is beautiful. It's very, very similar. In fact, it might be slightly prettier and it's just got this beautiful glow that it adds to your skin, but it's really, really lightweight and thin. So looks pretty under makeup for sure. So the thing is, it's so hard to get out. I never reach for it because I have to like dump it into my hand. So I might, I'm kind of, I might put this in the maybe because I want the product. Maybe I'll find a way to deposit it into something else. I don't know. This is old. Do you remember the Clarins video I did a long time ago? This is definitely past. It says 18 months. It's probably been two and a half. Gosh, I'd be scared to look it up. Hold on. Now I want to know how long ago was this video? This, I just looked it up February, 2019. So just about two years ago. So it's actually a really cool primer and I've used it off and on for the past few years, but I really haven't reached for it in a few months. Uh, but it, it's this like lavender primer and it really kind of brightens the skin. If you feel like you've got kind of dull skin, this is a really cool one. Yeah, it definitely smells off. I'm always amazed how quickly, like you can really notice a different smell. This was a really cool primer. They have a few different colors in this line. I actually really liked it and it kind of like blurs the skin too. So would recommend, mine is just too old. Kind of boring. Okay, this one I just didn't like, the Triple Algae Pollution Shield. It's, um, I don't even know, I don't know if you're supposed to, it was one they sent to me for free. Um, it was like a sample thing but um, I just didn't like it. I used it a couple times and it didn't work well on my skin. So I'm like, well, maybe I'll use it at night, but I'm like, well, no, this is meant to be to help against pollutants during the day. So I didn't like using it during the day. I'm gonna get rid of it. This one is old. I actually quite liked this though. This was the Wander Beauty Hidden Glow Brightening Cream. It worked well under makeup, but again, I don't always put on a moisturizer during the day because I kind of use my SPF to be the moisturizer for me. And then I put on a nice thick moisturizer at night. So this one is old. I actually did like it. It's got actual brightening agents in it. It's got Centella Asiatica extract, Squalane. So it's got some good stuff in it. And I did like it. I probably used about half of this up. So I've got a few more months where I can use this. This is the Vichy Mineral 89 Booster. You can mix it in with a moisturizer. You can put it under makeup as it is, as like a serum. It's supposed to be super hydrating. I've used probably well, maybe a fourth of it and I really like it. Sorry, my husband's doing some uh, um, drill work in his office. <laughs> He's always working on the walls, you guys. So this actually, fun side story, I bought this in, if I'm remembering right, in Canada, like, well, probably a year and a half ago. It says this goes bad in May of this year. So I'm gonna pull this out and actually put it in my bathroom and use it because I always think I need to use it during the day. I don't know why, like there are just certain products in my head. I'm like, yeah, 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 that's a daytime thing. I'm like, of absolutely I could use this at night and I think I'll get more use out of it that way and just that hydration right now is always good for me so this I'm gonna move and get as much use out of it as I can before May I could probably use this whole thing up and I really really liked it it's one of those things that I remember being in a Walgreens and I'd already owned this and the beauty advisor there grabbed this is obviously pre-COVID grabbed my hand and was like you've got to feel this I'm like okay Okay, lady. And she squirted some of this, which I already owned, on my hand and was like, rub it in. I'm like, all right. <laughs> so I rubbed it in and it was so just like hydrating and smoothing. She was like, isn't that lovely? And she was telling me about it. And I'm like, and of course I was too nice to say that, yeah, I already own it, lady. I just let her do her whole spiel. But it just reminded me, I'm like, dang, but here we are, you know, a year in and I'm just now again remembering. So I definitely want to use it. Okay, wow. Too long about this, but there you go. Okay, this is so old. You may remember me mentioning this a year or two ago. I loved this. It's the Shea Moisture Glow Getter Pressed Serum and especially in the winter. It's kind of like a thicker petroleum jelly like format 
but you can blend it onto your skin and oh my gosh, it is such a lovely feeling. It's great at night, it's great during the day. I've used this under makeup. It's a really nice product, but this one is old as could be. I would be embarrassed to know how old this particular, but I use more than half of it up and it is awesome. And I like that that's a moisturizer that it doesn't like pill up under makeup. This one I'm gonna give to my mom because I actually like this moisturizer, but I have so many I'm using right now and I know she uses this, or at least I'm pretty sure mom if you're watching. So I'm gonna give this to her because I know it's not old or anything and IT Cosmetics is one of her favorite brands. All right, so this one I am sad about because it is discontinued. I bought this because of Taylor Wynn. It's the Revlon Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer, the pink one. If you can find it, snatch it up because I think it was recent that they discontinued it, but it actually fills in the pores. I love to use this in my T-zone. It makes my makeup last longer. It is a great, great primer. I don't mind the pump, but I have to say if they ever relaunched this, I would love it in a squeezy tube so I can get out exactly as much as I want. I feel like this product would do well in that kind of packaging too, just saying. Anyway, speaking of things YouTubers made me buy, this one I bought because of Emily Noel. She loves the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I really like it too. And actually, this might be the second. I think I had a little thing of it for a while and then I bought this, or am I remembering that wrong? It is a lovely, basically, moisturizer to put on under makeup. You can view it as a primer if you want, but that's basically what it is. It's just a moisturizing primer, a moisturizing base, and it is really nice. It does not pill up. It's, I don't even wanna waste the little bit I have in here. Um, Cause it's pricey. You can get really, really good deals on this. It typically comes in a jar. Oh, it feels so good. You can find good deals on this, especially around the holiday season. A lot of times they'll have like a buy two for the price of one, kind of like Black Friday deal, things like that. So definitely, you know, wait for a sale like that. But man, oh man, this is beautiful. I would consider if I ever needed it, buying a bigger one of this, but I also have to say it comes in a pot. I kind of would prefer the squeezy tube. So I wish they made a larger version of it in a larger squeezy tube. Clearly I'm a big fan of squeezy tubes. <laughs> that one does have a scent though too. So if you're sensitive, stay far, far away from that. So I've got a couple of like putty primers. This is the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer. They have a couple new ones in their line. This one is pretty good. It does what it says it does. It fills in the pores and it definitely adds a glow to the skin. I just don't reach for it often. You can tell I've only dug it out like maybe four or five times. I like it just fine, but I don't reach for it. So I'm kind of thinking about passing this on while it's still pretty new because I know one of my sisters actually would use this all the time. So let me put this in the maybe. And it's not a hit on that because I do actually think it's good. I just. I have too many primers and I know I'm not reaching for it. So this is the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I hate to get rid of this, but I also know, huh, it says six months. Well, oh boy. I don't even know how old this is, but this is way older than that. I like it fine. I think, again, kind of like the e.l.f. one, I think it does a good job. I just don't use this format of primer. I just don't. I don't like the idea of digging my finger into it and doing this. It definitely fills the pores. Um, it does what it says it's gonna do, but I don't know. See that using it though, I'm like, oh. This, let me put in the maybe. Maybe it'll be one of those things that I put in the my bathroom and if in the next week I don't use it a single time, it goes. Y'all already know about my maybe pile. Okay. I'm gonna pass this one on. This is the Cover FX Dewy Skin Primer. It's supposed to be super hydrating. It's kind of like, it looks like a lip gloss when you put it out. It literally looks like a lip gloss. But uh, it definitely adds a dewy layer to the skin, but it's almost too much. It's too greasy. I don't think makeup looks good on top of it. And uh, and I've had it for a hot minute. So what does it say? 12 months, you yeah, know, definitely had it over that. But I just don't reach for it. And I keep keeping it thinking, oh, well, I love cover effects and I, I like dewy skin. And then guess what? I never reach for it. So it's finally, it's finally time for this sweet boy to go. This one is so old. I only have a little bit left. I love this stuff though. It's one of my favorite primers of all time, the Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For Primer. This does what the Tatcha does, but in I think an easier format to use because I can just squeeze a little bit on my hand. Very, very poor filling, very smoothing, very poor filling. It makes your skin look like a baby's butt. It really does. I also have this tiny version of it that I, is also almost gone. I wish I could refill it, but obviously I can't. <laughs> Definitely keeping both. This one I've loved, but I've had for way too long, and I think it's also discontinued. It's a really pretty primer. The Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Primer. It's got this beautiful kind of, um, I used about half, gosh, did I use more than half of this up? I used it for months and months and months in a row because I thought it was so pretty. 
It's definitely a dupe for some of these glowy primers we're gonna be talking about in a second. Uh, very glowy skin. Again, I don't think it's sold anymore, so you can't get your hands on it. If you could, I would say snatch it up. So I just looked it up, and on CVS, it says you can get it, but only in stores, and then like at the stores near me, it's out of stock. So I, I really think it's been discontinued, but if you can find it, it's a good one. All right, so I have these two Revlon Prime Plus, one of my favorites, and very similar, it's not the same, but similar to the discontinued Revlon, this perfecting and smoothing. It pore fills, but it also hydrates, and that's where it definitely differs from the other Revlon one because it does have this kind of moisturizing quality to it. It's kind of, it looks more like a gel consistency, but it still slightly fills in the pores. It's such a nice combo. It's been a favorite of mine for a while now, here in the end of 2020 and beginning of 21. So definitely keeping, this is one of my most reached for primers. This one I'm still deciding on. This is the brightening and skin tone evening one from that same line. I used it recently in a video and I just, I just don't know. It definitely adds a little bit of like a glow and it's got some skincare in it. But again, it's kind of one of those things that I'm like, well, should I put this on before my SPF? Should I use it after? If I use it after, after is it gonna mess up the SPF? So I kind of struggle with that, but it's so new to me. I wanna give it more love because it is an actual nice primer and I love that there's some good skincare in it. This one is brand new to me. This is from Haley's Beauty. It's their primer. I used it in a video that should already be live. It's my trying YouTubers 2020 favorites video. And this was one of my favorite YouTubers favorites, Jasmine from Juicy Jazz. This is a lovely primer. Actually, there's quite a few YouTubers I watch that love a lot from Haley's Beauty. So this one is very new to me. It is a very nice pore filling primer. I'm still, I mean, it's brand new to me, so definitely keeping. This one is the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. This is one of my favorite wintry products. I just feel like it adds such a pretty glow to the skin. This is one I reach for a lot when I actually am having a no makeup day because, oops, I just threw that on top of whatever other primer I just had on there, because it really is like serum-like, but it makes my skin look so healthy just on its own. I feel like my skin really likes it. There's no noticeable scent, which I appreciate. There are a lot of skincare brands that have so much scent in their products that even though the idea of it sounds great, every time I put it on, I just feel like my skin is like, I don't need watermelon juice all over my face. You know what I mean? My hands are so like soft and primed right now. It's wild. I feel so moisturized and so smooth. <laughs> All right, one I just need to let go of is this Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer. I don't reach for it. Again, if I'm just looking for just regular hydration, this is basically a moisturizer. I have other ones I like better. So I'm gonna pass this on to a sister or someone before it goes bad. Max Strobe Cream, cult classic for a reason. I love it. It's such a pretty, pretty, pretty glowy primer. And this, I feel like, was one of the first like glowy like primer products I ever tried. It was like way before I got into primers and it's, it, it's just that. It's so almost, I don't wanna say iridescent, but do you guys see what it does to the skin? It's not glittery, it, it really adds a real glow and it actually shows through in makeup like with makeup on top of it, and I love that. So definitely keeping this one. This one is very similar from VDL. This one is my one of my favorite YouTubers, Dana Ann's favorite. It's their Lumi Layer Primer. And this actually, I think, is a special edition packaging, like the blue. Uh, so if you see it, if you see the Lumi Layer Primer and it doesn't have a blue cap, it's probably the same. It's I don't remember what it was, but anyway, the blue is beautiful though, isn't it? <laughs> uh, very similar, but this might be like the strobe cream, but amped up. Like it really adds this really cool glow to the skin. I need see. I need to use this more because it really is so beautiful. So definitely keeping that as well. This I've just had too long. I really liked this and I used probably half of it up, but it's it's easily over two years old. So a lot of these are still favorites of mine. So this is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter, one of my favorite glowy primers. I love this for years. This is a newer-ish bottle. Um, bait versus like the one I used to have long ago. Again, really glowy, really just pretty. It doesn't pill up under makeup. Love this one. Another one I really like, but this one is pretty old. What is the year? 12 months. Yeah, this is easily like two years old. I have another one that was actually sent to me, which is insane to even say out loud. <laughs> but I really, really like this flawless filter. So I think I'm going to get rid of this one because it's separated, it's really old, and eventually I will open the new one. But like I said, I wanna go through a couple more primers before I do that. This is one I do wanna use up. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Brightening Youth Glow. 
I view this more as like skincare than primer. It, I mean, it really is like a radiant primer, but it just makes my skin look so healthy. And sometimes I'll use this as like the first step on my skin and then put SPF on top and that looks really nice too. So I'm gonna use this one up before it really does go bad. This one says 24 months. We're probably at that point. This is the YSL Touche Claw Blur Primer. I have this tiny one as well that I will refill when I'm like taking a little one to go with me. I love this stuff and it hasn't it doesn't smell like it's gone off yet, but it's very, very blurring. And I definitely feel like I notice a difference when I use this on my skin, uh, like with makeup on top. Like I feel like it actually sits better on top of it. It's one of those kind of silicone-y feeling primers. So definitely gonna use this up. It's, uh, would I buy it again? Maybe, and I don't know. I think it's really good, but I definitely have drugstore ones that I feel like do a similar job, like especially even though it's discontinued, this Revlon one. So gonna keep, try to use up, but I love this stuff. All right, I'm gonna pass on most of these. Uh, I just don't have a need for these tiny ones, like the de-bronzy one I know I don't use, Professional Radiance. Actually, when my luggage was lost a year and a half ago or so, I uh, bought this to use as a primer, which is funny because why did I feel like I needed to have a primer? I don't know, but anyway, that's the story of that, but I didn't really love it that much. So that one's gonna go, this Tatcha Silk Canvas. I uh, obviously don't use very much, so that one can go, and this Laura Mercier one can go. This I bought as this size. Like, I wanted to try this out, and I still haven't given it enough of a go, the Hourglass Number 28 Primer Serum. Let me know how you use this. If you love this, people that love it, love it. And I'm just not totally sure how to use it, so let me know how you use it down below. All right, so looking at these maybes, I think I am gonna get rid of all of them, because I will, kind of do fancy footwork around getting rid of them. But typically if I'm putting it in the maybe pile, it just needs to go. So I've got a lot that I am getting rid of. This one I guess is going to, but I'm giving it to my mom. But 23 out of 42, I'll put the percentage of that on the screen. That's definitely more than half. So that is a really good feeling, getting all of those out of that drawer. And then this is everything I'm keeping. Let me organize this into the little container I have. Well, la di da, this is so nice. So I kind of organized the SPFs here, my more serum -y products, and then glowy primers, kind of random like any of my travel ones, and then this one I'm still trying out, my pore filling ones, and then that's also an extension, pore filling ones here, so two sets of that. So this is such a good feeling, only keeping 19, and really two of them are doubles because that is a matching set and so is that, but you know. This makes my heart happy looking at what I have here, so I know anytime I open the drawer that my primers are in, I would be glad to blindfoldedly grab one of these and I know I will like it, so that is an awesome feeling. And it looks so nice and organized in there, I love it. So much breathing room, you know? So I hope that you enjoyed this declutter video. If you are vibing on this and you are loving this just like chill, go through makeup and talk about it style, I have an entire playlist. If you're excited, trust me, I would be too. My favorite videos to watch on YouTube are declutter. So I totally get pumped when YouTubers I love do these. So if you wanna watch more of them and binge some right now, I have a playlist down below. You can go down and click and keep on watching. But otherwise, I would love if you subscribed. I do declutter videos like once a month here on my channel, sometimes a little less often, just whenever I have a section of makeup or of my house that I feel like needs it. So I'd love if you subscribe. I upload three videos a week. I do makeup stuff, but I also do vlogs and other things like that too and I'd love to have you and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!